You know what's absolutely just incredibly beautiful about this life? Is that at any given moment, we can shift our perspective. We can, st we can step back. We can change change our perspective we can change our reality by our beliefs <laughs> and it's taken me a really long time to like get really clear on this but we choose our reality we we choose how we react we choose how we respond to people we choose we choose where our energy goes and I feel like I am absolutely living proof of that because I spent many, many years, you know, I was, I was diagnosed with depression at age 12. From pretty much from age 12 to 27, I was just on a roller coaster. And most of the time I was just really just down in just the depths of just hell because that's what I was focusing on. And that's, that was my internal reality so that was my external reality that I was just like like that was my perspective and it took me really investing in myself really investing in my body and instead of trying to escape it all the time and trying you know the more I was trying to escape how I was feeling and not allowing myself to process like the worst my anxiety got you know like I was like so afraid of feeling my feelings that the anxiety just got more and more expansive <laughs> so I did <laughs> I did several things in my life I stopped looking outside of myself for answers I started really diving into me and my and my healing journey I started I started exercising I started going on walks I started drink like I started drinking water instead of six cans of coke a day I started um just really investing in myself and investing in my education I went back to school I did all sorts of things to help me mentally physically spiritually and then it's like I found yoga and that was like the trifecta of just so so much goodness you know I always say it's like I drank the kool-aid but Fuck yeah, drink the Kool-Aid, do some yoga. <laughs> um, but I just want to say, like, if you're, like, going through hell, that that's okay. It's part of this process. It's a part of this purging of your old self, of your old beliefs, of your old reality. Because in order to create that new reality, we have to let go of the old one. We have to let go of the past. We have to let go of people places things environments that are just like not good for us anymore and that's really going to be super highlighted for the rest of this year i mean it's been super highlighted for like this whole year but that especially with this mars um aries and mars retrograde like just a lot more is coming up to be purged a lot is coming up to be released and don't don't fight it like if you are being triggered if you are um i just saw three 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 <laughs> if you are like just feeling so angry or or just triggered and you're just like i don't know what this is instead of reacting stepping back taking a deep breath in and just like stepping back and detaching for a moment and choosing to become the observer observer of your life and not always um you know reacting from that like emotionally charged place you know when emotions come up it's not something we need to ignore but there are times <laughs> when the universe is trying to see like if you if you've learned something I like I had like an emotional charge this evening of like finally getting some truth about something and it was like this mixture of like weird like weirdness but it was also like this huge fucking relief that I finally knew the truth and it's it's powerful when we know the truth when we speak the truth when we are actually open and honest with people like when you are open and honest and authentic within yourself 
that's when those people can come into your life who are open and authentic and honest with you. Like I have dealt with so many freaking narcissists in my life, but it was like, I was, I was sending that vibration out into the world and um, that's what I was getting back. So it's really being honest with yourself, like diving deep and being freaking brutally honest with yourself of where where your blocks are where your triggers are like what what is this unhealed wound with inside you that is just begging you to pay attention to feel loved to complete this like trauma loop and to end the cycle that i mean it's huge when you simply start to recognize your patterns when you become aware of your patterns and what you just continuously keep choosing because you do your reality is a choice i'm sorry but it's true your reality the exact reality that you're living in is a choice so what are you going to choose are you going to choose to continue to live in fear to continue to hide yourself, to continue to not do the work. Because I was there, I've been there. But it took several just like extreme, like destructive moments in my life to catalyst me. It took yeah, extremely painful moments and realizations in my life to catalyst and shift me. And without those huge tower moments in my life, I wouldn't have shifted. And a lot of, a lot of those tower moments revolved around truth. Me seeing the truth in certain people, in certain environments, me seeing the truth within myself. Truth is absolutely powerful and wonderful and yeah, <laughs> just getting like huge downloads today. <laughs> um, yeah. Have a beautiful day. <laughs>